Hey, it is your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We're zooming in and focusing in a little bit more in depth on a great viewer question, and that is really how to handle uh, much of the uh, false accusations, the negative validation, the negative projection that they are experiencing from a borderline um, narcissistic individual, an individual who has a pronounced personality disorder. As we know with those people who are borderline or narcissistic, oftentimes they're very attractive. Uh, they are very lovely to the eye. They can be very charming. Um, they can be very endearing. Um, they can win over your hearts. You can be easily attracted to these types of individuals. And really um, what ends up occurring though, as you get through the initial stages of the relationship, the wow, the impress, the, um, the kind of the, where the bonding takes place, you get to then see their true colors. And with each individual, there's a spectrum within the personality disorder. You might see it early on, you might see it in a couple of weeks, a couple of months, or a couple of years, where you really get to sense that something is not working here. And furthermore, not only is there something up with them, but it's also exasperating something in you. In other words, it end up resultantly ends up triggering a negative aspect of you, your life, or creating or solidifying a victim mentality within you. So in other words, you might have had the predisposition to attract this person into your life because of their qualities, their endearing qualities, or you became really enmeshed and attached with them because they satisfied a certain part of your needs. And now your happiness is very much contingent and tied up in this person. In other words, there's no separation between you and them. And I mean individuation. I mean having your own identity where it is separate and distinct and fully functioning and whole as it relates from distinct and separate from this person. And this can oftentimes be set up, especially in the love bombing stage when you're with a borderline individual because they have such a perceived um, instability or in, uh, in, um, unreliability of others. So they have created, fabricated, um, sort of generated or cre really created a perception, an erroneous perception, erroneous meaning not based on the present in error. Um, they, they, are, they have a perceived instability or unreliability of others in their environment. So it's their perception. It might not have anything to do with reality. It has nothing that you have done. The environment has created or, um, you know, basically been, uh, been created for them to trigger this sort of negative, um, volatile, and oftentimes negatively projected reaction where they are launching then into anger, false accusations, and criticism that are not really not based within you or the environment at whole. And when I mean the environment at, at whole, I mean the entire uh, dynamic of really the situation, the family, the workplace, the community. There is nothing that has set up this perceived instability or un reliability within you. So they assign blame. They will falsely accuse. They will criticize. They will essentially see things that are not there. And I don't mean psychotic. I don't mean seeing, you know, seeing visions, hearing voices. I don't mean a break from reality like we might see in a schizophrenic. I mean, basically they are awfulizing or cat cast, it's a tongue twister, <laughs> catastrophizing the situation. So seeing the worst, always going to what is the worst outcome, awfulizing, um, going into, you know, thinking that this and this is going to break down. This is not going to be there. The support is not there. We don't have this. We don't have that, that, um, sort of, um, you know, awfulizing the fact that you are not going to be there to provide emotional support. You are not going to be there to be strong. You know, you are not strong enough. Um, there's nothing that you have done that shows quote unquote weakness, yet they are going to launch into an awfulizing, an over perception of the situation at hand, the environment, the setting, the event, whatever it is that you're involved in, they're going to ascribe these sort of um, global 
assertions that there is something that is not right. And even though everything is right, everything is smooth, everything is calm, you know, there is nothing wrong. They are going to project or perceive within their own mind this sort of very um, instable um, fear of fear of abandonment, fear of rejection, fear of awfulizing or lack of um, stable trust and connection. They're, they're going to launch into a mistrust. They're going to, um, you know, create an environment of mistrust. They're going to create an environment of alleged abuse. They're going to create an environment where they have a fear that others are humiliating, abusing them, shaming them, don't like them um, because they don't feel secure. They don't feel stable within. Um, it's because they don't feel this. They're not experiencing this. So they're ascribing this to the experience at, at, at whole. And when I say um, globally, I mean really kind of big picture or in totality. So if you've ever been around this person, um, it is, it's not just like a constructive criticism. It is very much like a, an, an abstract or global, um, sort of condemnation of the situation at large. In other words, there's no room for discussion. It's really like a, a sort of negative emotional vacuum that can be created around this borderline or narcissistic individual. Um, and they're going to, then over project like a projector. If you've ever seen, you know, back in the olden days when they had the light with a projector in the in the film, you know, they're going to project their their light is going to cast a perception onto the environment like a film, a filter um, that you know um, their emotional needs are not met. They are deprived. Um, you know, nobody understands me. Nobody is listening. Um, nobody gets me. Um, we're not in this together. There is no mutuality of sharing. Um, they are projecting this very much like a projector. Um, that's the best um, analogy I can give it. And, um, you know, and that, that there's no protection. So they're kind of always in this agitated fear, worry, um, projected state. And it can be very uncomfortable to coexist in co-mingle with this type of individual because the perception is so uh, pervasive, so grand, so global. Um, it tends to engulf the entire situation at hand and there's no room for reasoning. <laughs> there's no room for discussion when they are launched into the situation. It's very black or white. And so if they are in the black, you know, you cannot, you know, shine a light in. It's almost like a very solid tension emotionally, energetically, and then sort of the, the energy, the, the, the field of energy can be very terse or very dense. It can become very rigid. It can become very impenetrable. So there's no really kind of working with this individual. Um, you know, and they're basically ascribing false accusations or false, false allocations to others which has no basis in reality. So you don't have a chance to present your strength, um, get your strength validated, get your um, nurturing validated, get your perspective validated. Um, you know, they're, 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 it's like they're calling the shots before the shots are even made. So it can be very, very difficult and very confusing because as we mentioned in the beginning of this video, this current person can be intelligent this person can be good looking. They can be highly accountable and responsible in other areas of their job, you know, um, or, you know, their job, their life, other areas. They can be extremely social in pockets or slivers of the pie, but yet in other areas, it's a very black or white. So if they have a different time, the difficult time with sort of blending a global sort of per personality or identity, um, you know, in, in, you know, that functions that carries over into different segments or pies or slices or areas of their life. So um, it is, you know, um, it is oftentimes very difficult to, for them to see you for who you are, um, hear you for who you are, feel you for who you are, um, appreciate you for who you are, and um, acknowledge you for who you are, and give you that sort of praise, attention that you are deserving of and that is based in reality. So if you have been around this a very long time, 
you are going to most likely be experiencing this sort of gaslighting, brainwashing, depersonalization, um, where you feel um, as if you're, if you're, especially if you're around it energetically, meaning physically, you know, your energy internally is not going to have a chance to develop. Um, you will not have a chance to grow. You will not have a chance to kind of be yourself. You won't have a, you know, a, a, a chance to converse. So you might not be able to discuss the news, books, um, situations. So you might not be able to have that experience, which is important to human growth, which is, you know, you need to be able to use it or lose it. So if you don't have the ability to communicate, you're not going to use your vocabulary. You're not going to, you know, be able to develop your, your opinions. You're not going to be able to develop your feelings. So a lot of people just shut down. I mean, they just get stuck. Um, and they're stuck really in the basic needs of eating, sleeping, and, you know, uh, basically very, you know, very minimal social needs, uh, self-actualization needs being met because they are around this sort of negative projection. And um, it's very um, interesting because a lot, a lot of people um, in the beginning, they take this at face value. In other words, they are, are seduced or sucked in by this person. So they will, you know, be caught up in the awfulizing. They will re react to the fear base. They will jump at the drop of a pin. They will, you know, be reactive. They will, you know, be there to take care of this person. And then that person will then overwhelm and run their life because you're constantly living as a source of supply, a tangent, or reacting to their awfulization needs. You know, you're acting to respond to their awfulization. So then you live to sort of... Um, try to stay ahead of them to prevent the outbursts. Um, and so it can be very, very uncomfortable, very difficult and um, uh, very um, enmeshing to the individual. So to separate yourself is important to do just that. Separate yourself from this individual, meaning separate from their energy, the physical energy field that tends to surround these people, begin to get out and get away. And if you are in the stuck mode, then put one foot in front of the other and begin to really um, take some action, um, even some radical action to get out of that funk, out of that awfulizing state of per misperception and do not take it personally. Um, do not let it become a filter then for your life. Uh, begin to say, that is their filter, I have mine. Um, they have their... Um, misperception and I have really my reality and I'm calling forth my reality and I'm now calling this forth in a, a calm body and begin to kind of come from that positive space and make it your happy space and then call that energy forth even if you have to re-engage from them realize that you can own those feelings simultaneously with sort of their you know um, energy going on because you do have dominion and control over your own emotions, your own feelings, your own DNA. You do have that sort of, you do have, you know, the protein reactions that are able to take forth within your body, your musculature, your mind, your feelings, and then furthermore, the neuroplasticity. So you can think on your own, think for yourself, think independently outside of that negative projection and begin to really, um, if it's become difficult, you really need to own it. You need to kind of own that 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 mastery of your thoughts, your cognitions, your feelings, and your, your behaviors. And even if you this person has become, you know, very intermingled with your life, um, realize, okay, that was then, and begin to slowly separate, you know, a little bit and kind of proliferate out so that this person might grow over there and you're kind of growing over here and, you know, this is your happy space. You can still see that what's going on. Observe it with your own eyes, but don't take it internally into your solar plexus so you can begin to have that I am really solid and concrete uh, concrete within you um, and you know, realize that oftentimes that negative projection is just that. It's a tool, a trait, and an emotional manipulation of a borderline or malignant narcissist um, type of individual. It is peace and harmony with you here today and I hope that these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.